Today we are going to see a case of a swelling in the neck. There are many patients who come with the lumps in the neck with the different type of complaints. Some are just uh, cosmetic, the others the patient may be complaining that they are painful. When we see a uh, lump in the neck, we see is it central or is it on the side. The central lumps, they are usually related to thyroid or sometimes in younger patients a thyroglossal cyst may be there. There is a problem in the central portion of the thyroid gland that is the isthmus. There may be a nodule there and then uh, as I said thyroglossal uh, duct its remnants may be present in the form of a cyst in the neck then there are other uh, structures which can also be present in the neck for example sebaceous cyst or the enlarged lymph nodes or lipomas etc they are generally on the site and not in the center of the neck in the center of the neck it is usually the uh, uh, lump related to thyroid itself or to the thyroglossal cyst. Now you see how do you differentiate between whether this is related to thyroid or uh, this is a thyroglossal cyst. So we look at a small video of a patient who's got swelling in the neck. Now this patient has swelling in the neck. You ask the patient to protrude the tongue and if the swelling moves by protruding the tongue outwards this is related to a thyroglossal ducts this may be a thyroglossal cyst and you see if the swelling moves on deglutition that is when the patient swallows the swelling moves this is related with thyroid so this is how we can differentiate uh, between these two swelling that is it a thyroglossal duct or this is a lump related to thyroid gland the other swellings which are present for example lymph nodes or lipomas or sebaceous cysts they do not show any movement in such maneuvers that is they do not change their uh, position or they don't move when the tongue is stick out or if the patient swallows. So this is how we can differentiate that this swelling is with the thyroid gland or thyroglossal duct or this is a uh, swelling which is not related to these structures. The other uh, swellings usually as I said they are generally present in the sides of the neck. These two swellings can be in the neck. The thyroid uh, swelling which is present in the neck can be in the center and can also be in the sides but the characteristic feature of thyroid swelling is that it moves with swallowing. The other swellings which are present in the side of the neck they do not move with uh, swallowing or sticking out the tongue. So this is how we differentiate what is the possible uh, reason for the swelling in the neck.